Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1! honestly can't believe it's the 1st December, Vlogmas is back. I have been waiting for this for the longest time. Vlogmas is my absolute favourite thing to do, you guys probably know that by now, and obviously because I have my new camera, I have my proper vlogging channel this year, I'm so excited to get started and make this as fun as possible. So I thought to start off the vlog I would give you a little bit of a summary of what's been going on, how I'm going to set out these vlogs, and just basically get Vlogmas started. So I'm going to go and put you down on my desk and we can have a little chat. So I've decided that this year I'm going to switch up Vlogmas a little bit. So I was originally going to do videos every single day like normal, vlog every day and upload every single day. But because I've been so stressed and I've had a lot on, I thought I would do two day vlogs because then it's a little bit more exciting for you. I've got a lot on anyway in terms of uni work and stuff to get on with. So it's going to be pretty stressful and I don't want to be worrying about trying to get videos up for you because I really don't want to let you down. And I want to do Vlogmas properly because Vlogmas, as I said, is my my ultimate favourite thing to do so I really hope that you don't mind but I will be vlogging every single day it just means that there will be 12 vlogs instead of 24 and I also need your guys opinion because I really want to film on Christmas day I've never done it before but I thought it would be a lot of fun so let me know if you do want me to film that as well because that'll be an extra separate vlog so I'm so excited to get started and I just want to quickly say that if these vlogs do get a little bit boring towards the start. It's because I'm so stressed. This week, I'm not gonna lie to you, has been a pretty stressful week. It's been one of the most stressful weeks ever, I would say, like, in my life, because basically, I mentioned it, I think, in one of my weekly vlogs. I've had a changeover of carer because my other one had to go back home, and let's just put it this way, it wasn't really the best. I didn't really get on that well with the person, and things just didn't get done, which wasn't great, so I'm not gonna go into much more detail than that, but I have had a massive switch up and have a new carer now for a week and then another new one from next week. So it's going to be pretty messy and obviously I'm having to deal with changeovers and training and things. So if the vlogs are messy, please bear with me, but they will get better when I go home, which will be the 15th of December, which I'm so excited for. I can't wait to get home and do loads of Christmassy things. I'm going to try and do as many Christmassy things with my friends here as I can. I have planned a lot. Like, honestly, this diary is full of things that I want to get done during Vlogmas, so I'm so excited to vlog it all, and I just can't wait to get started now, and yes. That's basically the summary. So, what I thought I would do now is actually go and open my advent calendars because that's just a must have when it's the 1st of December and you're getting advent started. So, I'm going to show you the ones that I have this year, open them with you as always, and yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm also going to put up my decorations later as well. So, it's going to be a good vlog, and I just can't wait to be honest. I'm going to get the Christmas tunes on as well later because gotta be done. I haven't listened to any Christmas songs yet. I don't even know why. I've sang them in choir but I haven't actually listened to them. So that needs to change and Boobalo is coming out. He's coming out of hibernation and he's going to be listened to a little bit later. Okay so these are my two advent calendars this year. As you can see I have my classic Maltesers advent calendar. I feel like it wouldn't be a beauty cold vlogmas without this calendar. I absolutely love it. And then my beauty calendar of choice this year was the look fantastic one. And as usual I watched a load of unboxing videos of the beauty advent calendar calendars and this was the one that looked the best and got you the most value to be honest and it was reduced to £67 when I bought it which obviously is quite expensive but I think it was worth over £300. It's got high-end makeup, high-end skincare, just so many good brands in it so I'm really excited to open it and Look Fantastic is a great website as well so I'm really excited and both of my advent calendars this year are red so that's pretty crazy. Obviously red is a festive colour but yeah. I just seem to like red apparently. So I'm gonna open them now. I'm so excited to see what's inside and I will show you. So I think it's best to start with the chocolate one because I'm in need of some chocolate this morning. So let's find number one. Oh my God, this is actually so exciting. Like I haven't really been in that a Christmassy mood until Vlogmas has started. So this is great for me. So one is down here. Now, as you know, I can never open these with one hand. So let's see how this goes. Yes, I've done it. Wait, why is it upside down? Okay, so I got a little Christmas pudding. I'm so excited to eat this. Honestly, the Maltesers advent calendar tastes amazing. It doesn't actually really taste of Maltesers. It kind of just tastes of the chocolate, but you know, 
love it. And then moving that one aside, I'm gonna move on to the most exciting one. Honestly, I love beauty advent calendars so much and I would definitely say they're worth the money. Obviously, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know if this one is good, but I've heard it is, so I'm so excited. So let's open it up. I think you just pull, yeah, just pull this bit open. Look how amazing this calendar looks. It looks so chic and just so luxurious. I absolutely love it and you can reuse this as well, which I love because you're paying a lot of money for it, but you can still reuse it next year and put other stuff in. So let's go to number one, which is a long thin one. This is exciting. Okay, shall I pull the whole thing out? Yeah, I think it'll be easier. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, it's HG Brows. No, oh my God, no way. Okay, guys, I'm gonna open this up and then I will show you. Oh my God, it's a contouring, oh my God. Okay, ah, I'm getting so excited. Is this actually for real? You get this in the advent calendar. Oh my God, look at those shades. Oh my God, that highlight, that gold one. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. So this is the HD Brows with Look Fantastic Contour and Color Pro Palette. This, oh my God, now I can't even open it, there we go. This for present number one. Oh my god, like honestly, I already love this so much and I definitely recommend it. Like honestly, you're getting six shades in a palette and you're paying £67. I think this on its own is worth like 20 or 30 maybe. So look fantastic. You're doing great. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'll probably show you at some point if I use any of the products in the advent calendar, but this is definitely going to be a must-have. I love it. I'm honestly so impressed with what I've got. I just did an Instagram story featuring it because I got so excited. Like, I haven't tried anything from HD Brows before. And to have a contour palette, which is one of my favourite products to use on my face, is amazing. So I love that. And I'm so excited to open the rest of it. So now I think I'm going to put up some decorations because, as you can see, my room's looking pretty bare. And as I said, I'm not really feeling that Christmassy. Well, I am now. But before I wasn't, so I feel like now's a good time to get my decks out. I haven't got very much. I've only got like some tinsel and like a mini tinsel tree and a few other things. I can't really remember what I bought last year, to be honest. But I'm going to put them up anyway and try and make my room and the kitchen and just this flat look Christmassy because everyone else has a proper Christmas tree, but I have nowhere to put it because my flat is quite small. So yeah. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I will show you what I've bought and what I've picked up last year. Most of it is from last year. I've only picked up some tinsel this year and put it up and get into the Christmas spirit. I'm so excited now. Honestly, my whole mindset has completely changed just because I've started vlogging. So that shows how much vlogmas means to me. And I just can't wait to vlog everything. I've got so much planned and I just want to do it all now. I just want to go out and do Christmas things right now. But... Let's face it, I have work to do, so let's prioritise. I also forgot to show you my bed sheets. So as you can see, I've put my little Christmassy one on. I really like this because it's Christmassy, but it's also like not really tacky because you can kind of have this throughout November and December because it's more wintry. So I just love it. I can't really remember where it's from because my mum bought it for me last year. So yeah, but I just love the colour. You know I love grey. My room is grey and copper, so this fits perfectly. And it's just really got me in the Christmassy spirit and I just love it. So yeah. Get your Christmas bedding out if you haven't already. Right, so I'm on a mission to find my Christmas decorations and I think they're in the bottom of the wardrobe. So I'm just gonna get it out and see if I can find anything. I really don't know where it is. Okay, I can see the tinsel because I bought that yesterday. No, not yesterday, when did I buy it? Like a couple of days ago? Okay, it's gonna go dark. <laughs> right, so this is my pile of decorations. I honestly just got glitter. You can't, oh yeah, you can, a little bit all over my lap and all over the bed. So this was probably not the best idea putting it on my bed, but we're rolling with it. So I have, as you can see, three bits of tinsel. So this is the one I bought the other day from Wilco and it was one pound and I just loved it because it's copper, of course. It matches kind of my copper things up here and just generally in my room. So that's the first thing I've got. And then I've also got this red bit of tinsel, which matches this tinsel tree, which yeah, makes up for not having a proper big tree. So I have those. And then I have this other tinsel, which is blue. I just loved the color of this. So I've got that. And then I've got this really glittery Christmas tree that says, we wish you, is it gonna focus? There we go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So I think I'm gonna put that in the kitchen just because it's easier. And also I think I'm gonna put these in the kitchen, which are these glittery snowflakes. Because last year I put them on the pin board in the kitchen and it looked really good. So I think I might do that again. 
and then I have my Christmas cards. So this year I have these ones which were from Studio. I always get my cards from Studio. I absolutely love these. I love woodland animals. So these are right up my street and I just think they're so cute. And then I don't actually know what's in here because this was where my Christmas cards were last year. Maybe some more Christmas cards are in here. Okay, so this has like some ribbon in. It has some tags and things. Where do my other tags go? I bought some tags the other day. Maybe they're still in the bag. Um, I bought some like copper tags. So yeah, this is basically just a random mix of stuff. And then also in here is some more bows and tags and things like that. So I'm going to just put this up now and I will show you where I've put it all once I've done it. You're right back there. Where did it go? <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm gonna put the Christmas no, songs on. My hair. My hair's not done. Your hair looks great. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get the tunes on. What tunes do you want? Christmas? Any, any, any. Okay. I'll put a Christmas playlist on. Are you ready for the tune? Go on then. Do no, it. not this one. That's a good one. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas I'm recording it, do it again Do it again, come on, do it again I missed it <laughs> Please do it again, look, because you're not in shot And then appear Are you ready? Yeah Make my wish Right, big reveal! Go for it. I'm glowing, I'm bitch of the fun. Ah, Lovely! covered how am i gonna get it off without like oh my god it's clear everywhere i can't even put it down because i've only got one hand <laughs> oh my god okay so as you would have seen i have decorated my room now i haven't got that many things just because there's not much point because i'm going home on the 15th of december so most of the christmas period well not most of it but like the main run up to christmas is going to be at home so i thought there's not much point but i have got a few little bits and bobs as you would have seen which is so cute and i'm now going to get on some work because it's already four o'clock the whole day is completely gone i feel like i haven't done anything today apart from do christmas stuff which i don't mind but i've got some revision to do because i actually have three assignments and my exams after christmas so i want to try and get as much of that done before christmas as possible because otherwise i'm going to have no christmas break so that's basically what I'm going to be getting on with for the next hour or so and then we're going to Nando's for tea. So excited. I haven't been to Nando's in quite a while and I love it. It's one of my favourite restaurants. So yeah, that's very exciting. But I quickly wanted to show you a couple of things that I picked up from Skinny Dip recently because I'm going to be using one of them for my revision now. So the first thing is this pencil case which is obviously from the Disney collaboration and both of them are from the Disney collaboration and this was in at the Black Friday sale. I can't remember the price of this. I think it was like £10 or something but is this not the cutest pencil case you've ever seen i love it so much i love the different expressions of mickey and the colors and everything and in here is basically all of my colored pens so it has my zebra mild liners my paper mate flare and i think that's it for those yeah so basically that's the first thing i bought and then the other thing is just down the side here which is a laptop case and this is what the laptop case looks like again i love it i love the graphics on it and it's like a leather case so it's so nice it's so slim lined and yeah i just love this i think this was 15 
£25 maybe. Altogether it only came to like £23 so both of it was actually quite cheap especially because it's Disney. So yeah that's a little haul and I'm now going to get on with my flashcards. These are the ones I did the other day and I'm just going to continue doing this for the next hour and then as I said we're going to go to Nando's. I'm so hungry already but I'm trying to hold myself out so I'm going to have a quick snack whilst I'm doing this. <laughs> So as you can see I'm now all wrapped up and we're about to go to Nando's. I can't even tell you how excited I am for this food because my stomach has been rumbling constantly. What is even the time? It's like 20 past 7 now so it's a lot later than I planned but by the time I'd done everything this was just the time so I'm very excited. We're about to go and I'm scared it's going to be cold and rainy because it's supposed to be raining in a bit but you know Nando's is calling and honestly I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. Food's arrived! <laughs> Your face! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I'm gonna have a chip. Oh god. Hey guys, so I'm back from Nando's now. My hunger has been sorted. I'm honestly so happy I went to Nando's. People have already uploaded some Vlogmas videos from like yesterday. So I'm gonna watch them and just chill out for a bit and then I'm gonna get into bed and go to bed because tomorrow I have to be up for 10 a.m. because I have a choir rehearsal 10 till 2 and then we have the choir Christmas meal which is something that I organised as social secretary so it's very exciting I can't wait for that so I do have quite a busy day tomorrow so I want to get a bit of an early night and also I need to finish editing a weekly vlog because I want all the weekly vlogs up before this video goes up which will be on monday so yeah i need to get that sorted because otherwise this video can't go up which i'll be gutted about because i can't miss the first day of vlogmas okay guys so i've just got into bed as you can see and i want to turn on my fairy lights so i can show you but i'm going to do that at the very end of the vlog so i just want to give you a rundown and say how happy i am that i'm back vlogging i've missed it so much and vlogmas i just absolutely love and honestly it's changed my mood completely if i was doing this last week i don't think i would be in the same state because I was that stressed and there was just so many bad things going on but now I'm so much more chill I'm so happy to be vlogging and I'm just in the best mood so I'm so grateful for everything and I will pick you guys up in the morning for a more exciting day as I said I'm going to be doing two-day vlogs so tomorrow is also going to be included in this and because we have the Christmas meal with choir and things I just feel like it'll be a lot of fun and maybe get a few more people in the vlog that haven't been in it before so I'm very excited and I'm going to quickly show my fairy lights before I go to sleep how cute are these lights oh my god i love them so much and i love how they go with the copper and yeah that's basically my evening and i will see you guys in the morning hey guys so it's now vlogmas day two and i'm so sorry i haven't filmed anything yet and it's four o'clock but i had my choir rehearsal this morning from 10 till 2 it did run a little bit over so by the time i got back it was like half past two and then i made some lunch because obviously we're going out for a meal tonight but i still wanted something in my stomach because i'm only having a main meal and also a dessert so by the time that comes out it's going to be quite late so I just had a quick little snack of pasta and I'm now about to open my advent calendars because I haven't done it yet and it's four o'clock and then basically after that I am in quite a rush because two of the girls from choir are coming over at half past five, Sophie and also Charlotte and we're going to get a taxi together at five to six because the meal's booked for half past six but I need to pay for everything beforehand because obviously as I said I'm the social secretary so I need to get ready as well and upload one of my weekly vlogs so I'm pretty stressed but I'm going to make time for my advent calendars because that's like the most exciting part of my day. I feel like throughout Vlogbus, that's just something I look forward to. Okay, so I'm going to start off my chocolate one again because it's the standard. So, where is number two? Am I looking at it? Yeah, it's here. Oh my god, this is so hard to do. Today it was a little bell. How cute. I honestly love this advent calendar. I can't even deal. Okay, and then now I'm going to move on to the most exciting one. So, where is number two? Okay, it's this one. This is an interesting shape. It's long and thin. Oh my god, look how deep that is. I was not expecting it to keep going. Okay, let me just tip it out. 
I have no idea what this is. The thing is, when I looked at this advent calendar, obviously I looked a little bit inside because I wanted to know what sort of products you were getting, but I didn't look at each individual day because I didn't want to ruin it. Like, I feel like the whole point of advent and the whole point of having a calendar is to count down and get excited about it. So I feel like if you know the products, it's just a massive disappointment in a way. So, let's unwrap it. This is endless. There we go. Ooh, okay. So, this is a Falorga solution micellar anti-age is this a makeup remover yes it's a cleanser and makeup remover and i've never heard of this brand so this is exciting i always use micellar water to remove my makeup i never use anything else so yeah i'm excited to give this a go actually and it's a really good size product you're getting 50 ml in here so this is going to be like great for travel and stuff so yeah that was the thing I got in door number two. So that's my advent calendars done and I'm now gonna go and edit, well not edit my video because I just need to add a few of the overlays and things, get that up because obviously I need it up before this first vlog is up and then I need to start getting ready. I've pretty much done my base makeup. I'm just gonna add like some contour and highlight and things like that. I'm not gonna go extravagant at all. I'm not gonna bother with eyeshadow and stuff because I don't have time. So basically I'm gonna do that and then I will get changed and once I'm changed and ready, I will show you what I look like and yeah I'm so sorry I haven't filmed much at all today yet but I'm hoping I get a few clips tonight with my friends and stuff it's quite nice because they're quite a different group of friends obviously I have the girls and I have my course mates but quiet is a completely separate group of people who are doing all different courses and all different ages and things like that <laughs> the meal now and my voice has gone so weird i don't even know why i think it was probably from the prosecco to be honest but let's not talk about it so i forgot to show you my outfit because i was in such a rush before i went out so this top is from h&m i wore this on christmas day last year and i absolutely love it it's one of my favorites but the glitter goes everywhere so it's a bit of a nightmare but you know 
it's worth it because it's Christmassy. And then I've actually got my pyjama bottoms at the moment, but I was wearing some glittery trousers from... Were they from Mango? I think they were from Mango. But I wanted to end the vlog properly off here. And I just want to say I had the best night. It was so good seeing everyone from choir. And it was just such a nice evening. It honestly made me feel so festive. And I just loved it so much. And the food, can I just say, was insane. So I'm just so happy with how it went. There was no problems. I managed to pay everything okay. Everyone got their right meals. So it just went really well all in all. And I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. I'm so excited for the next one. This one I feel like has been a really good introduction. And the next one is going to be a little bit boring. I am going to warn you because it's just going to be me doing work pretty much. But you know... I can make it fun, I can try and do my best to make it as enjoyable as possible, but I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys really soon for another Vlogmas video. Bye!